If you are a CLI and terminal lover like me, you are going to love this tool Ilya. Ilya is a keyboard terminal which allows you to talk with your large language models through your keyboard, through CLI, through terminal. So primarily it provides you a terminal interface to do inference with your large language models. In this video, we will be installing Ilya locally and then we will be talking to our large language model. So all in all, this Ilya is an application for interacting with LLMs which runs entirely in your terminal and is designed to be keyboard focused, efficient and fun to use. It also stores your conversation in a local SQLite database and allows you to interact with a lot of models. So let's get started. Let me take you to my local system and we will get it installed. So I'm running this Ubuntu 22.04 and I have one GPU card of 22 GB. Let me clear the screen. First up, let's install Ilya and the insta installation is very, very simple with Pipax. All you need to do is to type Pipax install Ilya dash chat and it says that it is already installed. So I'm not going to install it again. Let me clear the screen. Second thing you need to do is that you need to go to platform.openai.com and from there you need to set it. So let me do export openai.com is equal to and then you need to put your openai API key here. So let me put my key here and then I will clear the screen. So that is all set. Ilya is installed and my key is also set. Now in order to use Ilya, all you need to do is to just type Ilya on your keyboard and then press enter and wait for it. You will be very pleasantly surprised now. There you go. So this is your terminal where you can chat with Ilya. First up, you need to select your model. You can just toggle between them with your left and right arrow key. And then once you select it, you just can press capital I or you can simply use your keyboard for it. This is going to take you there and then you can also just click on this one or toggle tab, whatever you like, whatever is your goal. And once you are through, this could be just flash and you will, you know that how terminal and CLI work. So let's ask something from this model that I'm just going to ask it. Are you sentient? Let's wait for it. It says no. It's not sentient, which is good thing to know that it is not a sentient model. Okay, let's ask it a couple more questions. I just want to know if I can paste it from that. No. Okay, so I just need to type. That is good. I'm going to ask it write 10 sentences ending with the word beauty. Press enter. Look at the beautiful template. Look at this agent is responding. How cool is look? Amazing, amazing stuff. And you see, even GPT-4 is has failed to comply with our request. Just look at the last tenth one. It doesn't end with beauty. So is the eighth one. And yeah, so I think anyway, I'm not judging the model at the moment, but just marvel and look and just appreciate the beauty of this terminal window. Now, if you not need to focus a chat, uh, you can simply do the control N. So we have just, this is a new chat or you can even go with control S which will focus the chat and then you can sc scroll through it. For example, I'll just go with this. What is the purpose? What is the happiness? And then you can go with it. You can also press tab and it is going to take you wherever you like. I'm just pressing tab at the moment. You can ask it more questions here. Uh, which one is better? Terminal. Terminal or GUI. So, yeah. There you go. So now model is just answering it. And look at how beautifully it converts it. Now, there are a lot of things you can do with it. Like you can toggle between it. And for example, I already showed you. Uh, the focus chat by control s now the right now it is using this um, 
template but if you go to pigments.com which has different uh, python sort of syntax highlighters you can select your own if you like but all in all i'm very very impressed by this tool let me now take you to its github repo and we will go through it to see what exactly is cooking there because there are few other features i wanted to show you um i have uh, tried to run it with that local model but it doesn't work but i just want to show you how you can wipe the database and install it so let me take you there so you can even import your chats from chat gpt all you need to do is to run this command elia import and then if you want to wipe your database clean just do elia reset and if you want to uninstall it totally then all you need to do is to just do pipx uninstall elia dash chat really amazing tool really love the tool lightweight free open source you know right out of the community and i think this guy darren burns is the main creator really heads off to him and to his contributor wonderful job it goes without saying that i'm going to drop the link to this github repo in video description i hope that you liked it if you did please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching